Hey guys, this is Natash. Now this time, we're doing these Bloodborne videos with the commentary after the fact. Basically, I recorded it live, and then so much background noise happened. Like, there's actually a break in this video where the fire alarms in my house started going off. So, I gotta redo the commentary. But anyway, we're starting out by going after the hunter, Henrik. You know, last episode, Eileen the Crow mentioned, yeah, she's going to be taking him on. And when we kill him, we'll be able to get access to Henrik's hunter garb, which is strong against bolt damage. Which... That's something I'm gonna want for later. Now, the thing is, this guy's actually kinda tough. He's got a ridiculous health pool. Basically, the general plan is... Get Eileen to tank most of his damage, and then you just backstab him the whole time. Unfortunately, because of the fire alarm, he ended up killing Eileen before I managed to help at all. So, that was me completely drawing a blank on the fact that triangle is not one hand a weapon. Yeah, look at how little damage that did. But, keeps confusing me the whole two handings with R1 instead of triangle. And that's where the fire alarms went off, so I kind of cut the recording there. But basically, he ends up killing Eileen. When I got back to the game, after helping my dad get the fire alarms to stop it, I was dead. So... Yeah, let's try that again. So... Basically, the problem we have here is that he does so much damage that, you know, if you try to take him on without Eileen's help, he's just gonna kill you. So, basically, and this is me just checking to see if I can get the armor without killing him, which I can't. So basically, what I had to do here, I had to take out the poison knives, which, you know, of course, first thing I had to do was get my blood vials back. That still gets me, you know. The problem is, I play Dark Souls 2. Well, yeah, Dark Souls 2, but Dark Souls also. So, I can't really just break myself of that muscle memory, because I do actually still need it. I do still need to use triangle to two-hand my weapons, because I gotta do that in Dark Souls. You know, it's like, it's easier to kind of get out of the muscle memory when, you know, you actually don't have to keep doing it. But I do. So, alright, so this time, trying Henrik again, and this time I'm just gonna go poison knives. It's actually kind of surprising just how much stuff in this game is really weak to poison. Like, you know, Blood Starved Beast isn't. And, you know, 
pretty sure a bunch of the stuff in Old Yarnum is strong against poison. But, you know, so much of the other stuff in the game is really weak to poison. So, yeah, here's what's silly. Here I am standing on this roof. He can't figure out how to get to me because he's programmed to just take the most direct route. And the direct route, for him, involves running into a wall. And now he's poisoned. It takes a little time to actually get him poisoned. Fucking motorcycles! Seriously, motorcycles are dicks. So, yeah, basically all you have to do against this guy, throw a bunch of poison knives. Like, I do actually come down and fight him eventually, but I get him down to, like, losing most of his health with the poison knives. Yeah, that time, I only actually hit him with two poison knives, and he's poisoned. I actually probably waste, wasted that one. Like, with this guy, once you actually You know, once you get his health down with poison, he's actually pretty easy to kill. Like, I lean... I think this is about when I decide, yeah, I'm gonna actually take him on now. Because, at this point, I'm running out of knives. So, well, actually, at this point, I'm kind of still debating it. Yeah, it's like, at this point, he's lost most of his health. that thing that makes him so difficult. Because really damage-wise, he does about as much damage as anyone else would. That's not the real threat. Just for fun, just gonna poison him again. But then he just starts shooting me constantly. And then, just for the overkill, I visceral him. You know, just because I can. And that is the end of Hunter Henrik. I died a couple of times against him before I finally decided, you know what, I'm just gonna throw poison knives at him until he dies. So, as a result of all of that, I get access to his armor set which, like I said, it's got really good bolt resistance. And I think I check on this like here in the Hunter's Dream. But I also have access to Eileen's 
armor set. Which... I... I don't actually remember what that's best for. But the thing is, it's really expensive. I am like nowhere near being able to afford anything from it. So... Yeah, it's gonna be a while before I can actually use Eileen's armor. But... Anyway... That's not really the end of Eileen's questline, but that's where it's ending for me, because she's not around anymore. So, anyway, the next two videos are also going to be after the fact commentary. You know, kind of wish I didn't have to do that, but yeah. Unfortunately, it just got all messed up. So, anyway, at least starting with next week, I'll actually be just streaming all of this. So, there'll be more done with each session. So, anyway, that's gonna be all. Keep enjoying the videos and subscribe to help the channel and see more.